Alright guys, so hopefully this records pretty well. Um, hopefully the TV is not too bad either. Um, I moved the computer as, or the mic as far away from the computer as possible. Alright, so I'm in my somewhat house that I made. Um, Alright, let's move that there. So that way I can. So that way I can see. recently, um, and it's been a while um, since I've played on the, computer, on the PS4, which is why, you know, my movements were so slow in the game, because it's been that long since I've been on the PS4, um, so my movements on the PS4 are going to be very sluggish, and for those of you who are wondering, like, well, what is she doing? Um, it's been a really long time since I've been on the PS4. Um, for some reason, I guess since I started getting it for the computer, um, or since I got it for the computer, I haven't really been playing much on the PS4. Um, so my my movements in, on the PS4 are going to be very sluggish because I forgot a lot of the controls for the PS4, which is why, like, you'll see me, um, open up some things and, you know, close them back up and open them up again because, like, I forget that it's, like, I, I guess I forget that that button opened up, you know, that thing and vice versa. So... So yeah, um, yeah, but it's been a really long time since I played that game, and I'm gonna try to get back in, or the game on the PS4, but I'm gonna try to get back into playing on the PS4 all over again, I have to heat up some of the food. No, stop, stop, what the hell, what the hell, how do, oh. 
I was gonna say, how did you get into my house? Because my house is topless. So, but yeah. Answered my own question. Ooh, what is that? Potion of healing. accidentally walked off. Sorry guys, I have to pause for a second. Um, 
don't play. No, that's not the one that I want to watch. Damn it, you're playing the wrong one. I'm sorry, play. No, damn it. I hate this thing when it's not. This one, this one. It's playing like the next in my playlist, and I'm like, no. That one. There we go. All right. You keep this up, and this won't be the last plug I pull. Hopefully the villagers are still alive, and they weren't morons, and walked out of their house. Hello! Whew, don't walk out. That's what I want. There should be a butcher here. Here's your butcher. Hello! Look for. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Enjoy it. Soak it up. 
because this will be your very, very last night on Raw since you were named the commissioner of right, SmackDown Live. No, that doesn't have anything in it. I, of course, am the exclusive commissioner of the tools of Monday Night Raw. Does this have a... No. And Shane, I will not miss working with you. Well, the feeling is mutual, Stephanie. I have to say. Sure it is. Sure it is. And I know every morning you wake up and you wish you were born with testicles. But since you weren't, but since you weren't, just want to remind you that if you were, there's only two villagers here. Slap that happened last week. What would be definitely some ramifications to that? Oh, oh, okay. That a veiled threat. Where's the and door? Let me just tell you that lady balls are a hell of a lot bigger than testicles. Okay. Gross. Thank you very much. And Shane, Gross. yes, I did slap you clear across the face, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just like you're going to do nothing on SmackDown Live as commissioner. That's actually, you know, that's a, actually, what's going to happen with SmackDown Live is tomorrow. Blow up you. When you wake up Wednesday morning and the draft is all over. Yeah, see, the thing is, Shane, this isn't about you, okay? This is about how Raw and SmackDown Live are both going to benefit from the draft. And in one of those ways is the chairman of the board called me and given the success of the Cruiserweight Classic on WWE Network, have you all been watching? Well, we are going to be launching a Cruiserweight division and it is going to be the exclusive property of Monday Night Raw. How's that? But that's not all, right? Because, Shane, it's only fair. I mean, Raw is three hours long, and as I think you were about to say, it gives us a clear advantage. I mean, we get the first draft pick tomorrow. For every two draft picks you get, I get three. Why is there no crafting table? That's the way it goes. What? That's why exactly. I couldn't find the door. Daddy's little girl, it's exactly what she wants once again. Because I've earned it. Well, I've been strategizing with my general manager of SmackDown Live. We've been getting ready. Why is there no forge, no crafting table? Usually in no, at least think. one village that I go to, there's both. Yes, you guys are right. I, I should actually take this spot right now and take the opportunity to announce the person who is going to lead Raw to the promise. Wait. Wait. 
So there's a village there, and there's a village there. Hold on. This. Because I remember saying when I was there, we we're gonna take Raw to New Heights. Remember, I was one of the guys who put the nail in the final coffin of WCW. It wasn't pleasant, but it had to be done. And so the same ruthlessness, the same recklessness I showed you way back when. You idiots, get in the fucking the house. Era, I'm gonna put on display as your general manager. Well, thank you. Because I am looking and willing to take Raw. To the Please. And the wool. I don't need it. Have a nice day. Yeah. I don't need the wool. I have a lot of Thank wool. You. I want to say congratulations. Get in the mother loving house. You idiots. Get in the yeah. house. WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley as the general manager of Raw. That's something everybody can get behind. Actually, you're there. concluded. Now, and there. Gonna get up it now? Yeah, 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 there. Did I get that? Very good one. Mm -hmm. so that brings me now to my general manager. Yeah. Thank you. And I need somebody that can embody, really, what SmackDown Live is all about. And that's breaking glass ceilings. That is the underdog coming from underneath. That is about giving somebody an opportunity to sign you guys never did. Librarian. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder who could it be? Who could I possibly think of? Who could be more popular and better than Nick Foley? Ladies and gentlemen, the SmackDown Live General Manager. Wait. Sure, thank you. I actually want to go here. And do that. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. And then, take this. Alright, guys. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!